Java script is an essential part of marketing analytics. A lot of marketing analytics tools are JavaScript codes. Google Tag Manager is built in JavaScript. By using JavaScript, you can extend the functionality of Google Tag Manager and go into advanced tracking. However, whenever you're dealing with JavaScript, you will also have to account for errors that can occur because of the syntax issues or because of the variables and the data that you're dealing with in your code. Google Tag Manager has built-in functionality to not allow you to proceed if your code has syntax errors. However, it does not know what you will encounter when your code is running. This is why you need to handle those errors elegantly in your own code. These errors are also called exceptions in JavaScript. In this video, I will show you how you can properly handle those errors that occur in the runtime. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Here I'm in Google Tag Manager. I am going to show you how to handle errors appropriately by using an example of creating a custom JavaScript variable. Even though I'm using custom JavaScript variable as an example to show you how to handle JavaScript errors, the same logic will apply to custom HTML tags or any other JavaScript environment. Click on new in user defined variables to create the custom JavaScript variable. Click in the middle again and pick custom JavaScript. This is where you'll write your JavaScript code. Custom JavaScript variable is an anonymous JavaScript function that returns a value. Here I'm going to paste the code that I've already written. This code has an error. Right here, I've defined a variable, then assigned a value to that variable. Then I am dividing variable one, which I haven't defined yet, by the variable two that I defined, and then assigning the result to another variable and returning that variable. So as you can see, I haven't defined variable one or variable final. As a result, I am going to get some unexpected value in this variable. Let's go ahead and save this and see what value gets assigned to this variable. Go ahead and save it. And I'm going to call this CJS error test. Once done, go ahead and save it. Our variable is now created. Let's go ahead and put our tag assistant in preview mode. Click on preview. Click on connect. Tag assistant is connected. Let's go to tag assistant. Click on continue. Go to container loaded because that's when all the variables are being set. Click on variables. And here CJ error test is showing you undefined. So clearly there is no value coming across. That's why it's undefined. In order to fix that, we will have to write some extra code. So I'm going to go back to Google Tag Manager and write that code. Let's go ahead and disconnect this and go back to Google Tag Manager. Go down, find the variable and click on it. To find the actual error or to capture the error, you have to wrap this code in try catch statement. This statement starts with the keyword try followed by curly brackets, go all the way down and curly brackets. So all of your code right here is wrapped in curly brackets. Then you enter catch and pass in a variable in the parenthesis. This variable can be named anything. This variable or identifier will contain the information about the error. Curly brackets and then curly brackets. Now when an error occurs in this block, it's going to come to catch block. Right here, you can return a message that will tell that an error occurred. Now, when there is an error or exception in this code, this message will be returned. However, this message is not very meaningful. To provide more meaningful message, you can use the E variable here, also called identifier, and use the message property of this identifier. Now, this will give us more meaningful message 
rather than a generic message. Go ahead and save your variable. Now your variable is ready. Let's go ahead and put our container in preview mode to see the value that's contained in this variable. Click on preview. Click on connect. Tag assistant is connected. Go to the tag assistant window, click on continue. Go to container loaded because that's where you'll see the variables. Click on variables and scroll down. And here you can see CJS error test is showing that var1 is not defined. That's exactly the problem. Once you fix this error and go back to the preview mode, you'll see the next error if there is one. So by using the error identifiers message property, you have been able to get a more meaningful error message. So anytime you write your custom JavaScript variables or custom HTML tags, make sure to wrap your code in try catch statement. By doing so, you will be able to identify the errors in your code quickly, as well as you will ensure that your website code does not break. Go ahead and practice this by writing some code and purposely introducing some errors in it and see how this works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any new videos from me. Also, don't forget to leave a comment letting me know your thoughts on this video as well as any other topics that you want me to cover in my future videos. I will see you in the next video.